Hi, I'm Richard, finalist of Great British Break Off 2014. In this video, I'll be making raspberry and custard eclairs. Who doesn't love an eclair? Um, these raspberry and custard ones are deceptively simple to make and absolutely delicious. Start by pouring water into a pan, add butter and salt and set over a medium heat. Once the butter is melted and the water is boiling, add the flour and beat together for two minutes using a wooden spoon. Keep mixing the flour until it creates a smooth, shiny texture, then put it straight into a bowl and cover with cling film. I like to push the cling film down so it touches the shoe. That way you stop yourself from getting a crust on top which will make the eclairs go lumpy. Then we pop it into the fridge to cool and make the custard. To fill these eclairs, we're going to make a delicious custard. It's thick and very, very easy to do. Start by heating milk and vanilla paste in a pan. In a heat-proof bowl, whisk the egg, corn flour and sugar together until it makes a yellow paste. Once the milk is hot but not yet boiling, gently whisk it into the heat-proof bowl with your egg mixture until it's fully incorporated. Pour the custard back into the pan and cook until thickened. Keep it moving with a silicon spatula so you don't get lumps. Once the custard is thickened up, put it back in the bowl, cover with cling film and put it in the fridge to cool. So, the shoe's cooled, it's time to mix some egg into it. I'm going to use a stand mixer for mixing this up. You can do it using a hand mixer, but it will take you about twice the amount of time. So you need to break your eggs in one by one, just so you get a good paste on your mix. Right, I think that's done. Let's have a look. You can tell shoe is ready if you get that V shape when you drop it. That means it's not too dry and not too wet. So, it's ready to go in a piping bag. I fitted mine with a 15 mil nozzle. Now, normally clears are normally made with whipped cream and chocolate. But, these ones we're doing with raspberries and custard, but this method will work with anything you want to put into an eclair, really. Now, I've lined this tray with parchment paper. Try and use parchment paper instead of greaseproof, otherwise your eclairs will stick. Pipe out 12 eclairs, each about 10 centimetres long, giving them enough room to grow, because they will grow. When you're piping, just try and do even pressure. Don't try and do anything fancy. Just nice, even pressure, and then whip it up at the end. If you've got any extra, knock up a few profiteroles. They're always fun. Press down any sharp edges you have with a wet finger. That way you won't get a burnt bit on the top of your eclair or your profiteroles. And then they go in the oven at 200 degrees for 15 minutes. And don't forget you can find the whole recipe and the method on the website. So 15 minutes have passed and the eclairs are risen. So we let the steam out, turn the temperature down to 180 and leave them in to harden off for another 20 minutes. So the eclairs are out of the oven and cooled. It's time to cut them in half. So cut all your eclairs in half and make sure you don't mix up the top half to the bottom half. So the cases are all cooled and chopped, it's time to make the glaze. You need to start by pushing raspberries through a sieve so you get the juice in a bowl and leave the seeds behind. This is also the only colouring that goes into it too. It'll give a lovely pink into the glaze. Right, that's about enough. Then we add the icing sugar. So now we just whisk the icing sugar into the raspberry pulp. Then we're going to add some cream. So there, that's the glaze done. We'll put it to one side while we deal with the cream. To make the creme pat, whip up some cream and then fold the chilled custard through it. Now we're ready to assemble the eclairs. Pipe your creme pat onto each eclair base and poke into it three raspberries. Pop the top onto each eclair. Using a piping bag, pipe on a few lines of raspberry glaze. So there we are, raspberry and custard eclairs. Have a go at them, post me your pictures, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.